my brothers, we meet to pay the last tribute of respect to our departed brother for during his life and membership in our beloved fraternity lived up to its motto, culture for service and service for humanity. He exemplified the noble traditions of our organization and carried out the obligations he assumed when he subscribed to the oath and constitution required for membership in Phi Beta Sigma. It is a matter of great pride to us that during his association with us, he comported himself as a gentleman of compassion and faith and held high regard for the ideals of Phi Beta Sigma fraternity. I bring to the podium the Honorable William E. Stanley, 28th International President. The words from Ecclesiastes, the 12th chapter, verses 1 through 7. Remember thou thy creator the days of thy youth, while the evil days come back, nor the years draw out, but thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in the Lord. When the sun or the light or the moon or the stars be not dark, nor the clouds be turned into the rain. In the day when the keepers in the house are trembling, and the strong men shall bow themselves, and the grinders cease because they are few, and those that look out the windows be dark. And the doors shall be shut in the street, even the sound of the grinders is low. And he shall rise up at the voice of the bird, and all the poems of music shall be brought from. Also, and they shall be afraid of that which is high and fears shall be in the way. And the almond tree shall flourish, and the grasshopper shall be a burden, and desire to fail, to because man goeth unto his long home, and the mourners go about the streets, or even the silver of the poor be loosened, or the golden home be broken, or the pitcher broken at the fountain, or the wheel broken at the cistern. Then shall the dust return to the earth. As it was, and the Spirit unto God who gave it. For God shall bring every work unto judgment with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. Now, brothers, we're going to sing the eternity hymn, and I'm going to ask you to place your right hand on your heart as we sing all three verses of the hymn. I want you to pay close attention to the third verse. Because it talks about marching on, and for the gentle voice, marched a lot for us. And the words kind of amplify what we should be doing as we go forward. Thank you. 
Sunset and evening star, and one clear call for me, and may there be no mocking of the ball when I put out to sea. But such a time as no man seems to sleep, too full for sound and fall, when that which drew from out the mountains deep turns again home. Twilight and evening bell, and after that. And may there be no sense of farewell which I embark. For though from out our home of time and place the flood may bear me fall, I hope to see my pilot face to face when I have crossed the wall. We'll now have a musical selection from Brother Manolito Kirby, Georgia State. Around. I had so good day. I had so heat to climb. I had so. Weary day, 
This time we have Brother Jacob Gillison, Chapter President of Tri Sigma, to afford a response to Thank you. If ye be risen in Christ, seek those things which are above, where Christ sitteth on the right hand of God. And let the peace of God rule in your hearts to win all the souls. Yea, I call it in one body and be thankful. Now, the body of the Honorable Brother, 
U.S. Congressman, civil rights icon, an American hero, and certainly a signal talent. The Honorable John Roberts Lewis to the Omega family. And may his soul rest in peace. At this time, I'd like to call up Brother Steve McDaniel and Brother Jacob Gilson. Brother McDaniel is representing uh, the family of the Honorable John Lewis, and Brother Gilson is representing the Christ of the Chapel. I have before me a resolution from Father Jesus Curry to celebrate the life of Sir McDaniel, Brother John. His legacy and work in the fall. Whereas the Honorable Brother John Ron Lewis was initiated into public civil security and operated in Atlanta, Georgia in 1974, through the Lambda Sigma Chapter, and continued active service for the current through the Tri Sigma Chapter in Mount Rome County, North Carolina. And whereas John and Brother Lewis began the fight for civil rights as a result of the injustice he saw and experienced far out of the South, his deep concern for the fight. Leads his faculty chairman of the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee while a student at Michigan University. Because of his successful ministry at Aston University, Brother Lewis would become one of the big six in the Civil Rights Movement of the 1960s and one of the original 13 free flyers. His involvement in the Civil Rights Movement would lead to him being beaten and arrested on at least 40 occasions, including the 1965 March in Selma. And whereas in 1981, Dr. Brother Lewis was elected to serve on the city council of Atlanta, Georgia, and in 1986, he was elected to represent the fifth district of Georgia in the United States of America. Brother Lewis served for 34 years in various leadership positions as a congressman, including senior chief faculty member of the Democratic Party, member of the House Ways and Means Committee, and chairman of its subcommittee. On oversight. For his life's work as a civil rights leader and politician, our old brother John Lewis received over 50 honorary degrees from universities across the country, as well as numerous awards for his service, including the Medal of Freedom, the highest civilian honor, which was granted by President Barack Obama, and the only John F. Kennedy profile of Curry a lifetime achievement ever granted by the John F. Kennedy Library Foundation. In July of 2017, Brother John Lewis received the highest honor that his fraternity could be awarded when he was inducted into the distinguished service chapter of Phi Beta Sigma Fraternity in Fort Cottonwood. He was inducted as a KC member of Mike Lee. And whereas Brother John Robert Lewis will be remembered for his life changing leadership and his admonishment and giving good talk and as a loving and faithful brother. Therefore, be it resolved that on this day, we, the members of Father Beta Sigma Fraternity Incorporated, as the brothers of the Catholic Spirit, celebrate the life and legacy of our beloved God. Honorable John Robert Lewis, who worked tirelessly to promote our cause. While we join his family and move in his department, the morning is We celebrate his independent year as a national leader and as a brother. This time. 
and the entire Brother John, Robert, and you as family. We thank you for all that this fraternity has done over the years to support the work, good work, of Brother Lewis. Forty-eight years ago, when I first invited Brother Lewis, then the director of our education project, to give a speech at the undergraduate council at the Conclave in Houston, he so did that conference, gave the speech, shortly after joined our fraternity. And every day since then, we have always been supportive. His family is keenly aware of how much he loved Phi Beta Sigma fraternity. And they profoundly show their grateful appreciation to all of us for the work that we've done to support his work over the years. His good work, his good trouble. So on behalf of the entire family, thank you so very much. At this time, we'll have the benediction from Brother Eric Farmer, Southern Regional Director. So the brothers and guests. Lord, we thank you. We ask that you bless Yes, from here in the park of the temple of this great nation. As we celebrate the life of the honorable brother, John Robert Lewis, a brother who not only served on the rest of the eternity, but also served for all of mankind. As we depart, we ask for traveling graces to all. Now, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord's love upon you. And be gracious to upon you. May the Lord show his faith for you and give you peace. These blessings we ask in the name of Jesus Christ. Brothers, this concludes our program. Thank you for coming out. For those who watch the PSL we thank you for the support and honor that you bestowed upon our beloved brother. This time, I call brothers Dr. Scott to come forward to lead us out for a reception. Dr. Scott.